Today, I'm going to share with you some fun phone apps for photo remixing and graphic design. And best of all, they're free. Number five, QuickShot. QuickShot is an app that comes in a bundle of four apps, all of which are free. QuickShot has some remixing and is mostly a photo editor, while Pixaloop is a photo animator and PhotoFox is for compiling and remixing into artistic creations. With QuickShot, there's lots of ways to make changes to images like sky replacement or adding bokeh, stars or sunsets. After replacing the clouds in the sky, you could then take your photo into Pixaloop to animate it and make those clouds move across the sky. QuickShot has lots of the normal adjustments like saturation and contrast, but it also has auto corrections like Magic Fix, which worked very well for me. Once you've made all of the corrections you want, you can then take that image into PhotoFox to make an artistic compilation, use dispersion, double exposure, create a collage, or remix the image using layers. You can use your own photos or those of other users, as well as pull from free sources like Unsplash. With QuickShot or any of the other apps in this bundle, you can export your images into different formats, such as GIF, JPEG, TIFF, PNG, or out to your social media platforms or save it in your photos. Unfortunately, QuickShot and the other apps in this bundle are only available for iOS users. Otherwise, this would rank much higher in my top five. Even so, there is so much you can do with these apps. While QuickShot does offer filters, some of them were very faint and not very noticeable. Sky replacement was just so-so, but at least you have the option. In the number four spot, Visage Lab. This app is great for artistic add-ons to your portraits, pictures of people, and selfies. There are so many effects and they're added constantly. There's new, trending, and top looks. For example, you could change people into cartoons or comic book drawings, or even into half human, half animal. They also offer many interesting backgrounds like color splashes or scenery. There are even some that are animated like rain or snow. The cutout feature offers pretty good detection of faces and hair and which parts of an image to include when it creates the cutout. It even works on old heirloom photos. But once the cutout's created, you can't make adjustments if it misses. This app could be super useful for people who need to make eye-catching thumbnails of themselves for YouTube. Let it make your cutout, add a background, then download it into something like Photoshop and add your product image or text next to it. Unfortunately, this app doesn't offer any regular editing tools. The makeover function does not allow you to change shadows or smooth or fix blemishes the way their icon might imply. It renders an effect on the image like adding blue eyes or purple hair. And very few of those seem to look very good, at least on me. Portrait retouching is fully automatic with no way to make adjustments. It works well, but the only modifications you can make are to turn certain functions totally on or totally off with no in-between, no slider adjustments. While there are some functions that could be used for pets or products, it's really limited for use for portraits. So if you're trying to make a post to advertise a business, you would really need more of a graphic design app with templates instead of using this one. In the number three spot, LightX. LightX offers many filters and artistic special effects, and those are customizable. There are sliders hidden underneath each function. This app offers lots of tools for blending, mixing, selectively applying colors, or other effects. Because so many of these tools are customizable and have hidden sliders, it can get very complicated. There are tools within tools. Many of the functions in this app that are included in the free version, like curves, would be paid options in other apps. Because many of these tools have functions that are hidden, some of the adjustments were difficult to find and it wasn't very intuitive to know that they were there. This app offers backdrops, although there are a limited quantity, and when you do cutouts, you can't save it with a transparent background unless you upgrade to the paid version. Unfortunately, there are no templates, so this is not for your graphic design work or your business social media posts. 
In the comments, viewers will probably point out that Visco is not in my top five. And while that's a great app, in my opinion, the apps in my top five were more versatile. Is there an app that you use for graphic design or remixing that I left out? Let me know in the comments and be sure to ring the bell to get notified of new content. Now we're on to number two, Photoshop Mix. Adobe Photoshop Mix is just one app in a whole library of apps like Lightroom and Spark. So you can save as Photoshop documents and then take your photos into other apps or to your desktop or save into your CC library. The auto cutout tool is very impressive and you can add and subtract from the cutout to get it just right. With Photoshop Mix, you can add up to 10 layers and then use blending tools, text layers, masking, even selective masking and merging of those layers. There's even a meme maker layer available in addition to the normal image, color, and text layers. So not only do you have all of those features, but you also get standard adjustments like saturation and brightness, plus some preset looks and filters, which can be selectively applied. Photoshop Mix is pretty complex. For example, they have a new feature called image harmonization. Some of these tools, you might need to watch tutorials in order to use them effectively. With this app, there's a definite learning curve. I had a hard time replicating the look that they achieved by using my own images. The tutorials are good and they will introduce you to all of its capabilities. This app offers stock images, but they cost extra. So if you don't have a lot of your own images to source from, this might be a limiting factor for your use of this app. So now we're down to number one, but there's a catch. I have a tie for number one, depending upon what you're looking for, something for artistic effects and remixing or something for making social media posts or a more business focus. My number one for artistic effects and remixing is PixArt. PixArt offers an excellent auto cutout tool, plus other cool tools like motion, clone, and dispersion. I loved experimenting with the special effects that you can apply to backgrounds or images or cutouts. Special effects like pop art, distort, or there's even one called magic, as well as brushes and lens flares for lighting effects. PixArt offers plenty of tutorials and inspiration from users, as well as free stock images and stickers to choose from. The Beautify face retouching tools are very detailed. They're smoothing and a blemish tool, skin tones, hair color, eye color, and eye direction, as well as teeth whitening. These are all separate functions and can be refined. With PixArt, you have the ability to add layers and then blend them. You can use masking, selective masking, or even painting certain areas using shape masks. There isn't much to say as far as cons with this app. It does require a certain artistic eye to know how to blend and layer to make the finished product look good. A beginner might struggle with some of the complexity or have a difficult time replicating the looks of the examples given. If you're looking for a good graphic design app or templates, then this isn't the app for you. For that, we'll have to go to our other number one. So the number one app on my list for graphic design, which you could use for social media posts or a more business focus, is Canva. Canva has so many pre-made templates and designs, and you're not just limited to social media. You can search by topic. Like for me, I look for camera or photography. Canva allows you to take your images and your templates and customize them to make them uniquely yours. You can even add animations. You can easily upload from your camera roll or Google or use stock images, which are provided for free. With Canva's branding kit, you can store your logos, color palette, and fonts all in one spot. There's a searchable library of fonts, or you can upload a font of your own. Canva has a lot to offer for people who need social media posts, especially with a business focus. There's the ability to add URLs into your designs. Like PixArt, you don't have much to complain about with this app. You do have to make an account or use one that you already have, like a Google account. I found a few of the tools were difficult to manipulate on a small phone screen, but a bigger phone or tablet and you would have no problems. The only real downside to Canva is that there are very few filters or adjustments available without going for the extra or premium account. So there you have it, five, well six, useful and free apps for remixing your images and graphic design on your smartphone. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and stick around to watch some of our other videos on the Focused Camera channel. Thanks for watching.